Swiss sculptor Jean Tongli created whimsical machine-like contraptions of found metal parts, kinetic pieces known as metamechanics. These sculptures create movement and sounds that aren't necessarily meant to be enjoyed by their audience. Banging, clanking, squealing. Tong Lee felt that these noises gave sculptures a semi-human personality and a voice all their own. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a sound sculpture today inspired by Tong Lee's metamechanics. I'll use a variety of hardware, office supplies, tools, utensils, cast-off appliance, machine parts, jewelry scraps, and similar items. I need to have a background, so I've glued a half-inch dowel to the edge of a piece of heavy chipboard. Next, I paint both a solid black using Blick matte acrylics. The kinetic part of the sculpture will be composed of objects hanging over the background. I'll place them strategically so that when the piece is moved, they will come in contact with objects on the background and produce sound. So I'll need to plan ahead to know which objects I'm going to use and where. Adding color to the metal can make the finished piece very exciting. So before assembling, I've done some painting. I found that heavy paint tends to dampen the sound, so I'm using colored inks. These adhere well to metal and they're translucent, so they don't cover the reflective quality or the texture of the hardware. On this piece, I wrapped some tooling foil around the board, secured it with glue, embossed it, and added some painted metal discs and wire. The metal background is an option for decoration. It doesn't really affect the sound. This background has painted pieces glued directly to the chipboard. Now here are the objects that I'd like to suspend in front. I've already tied some string to them. Notice that in many instances, I've tied two or more pieces together. Each component adds sound tone. I'm going to position them so that they come in contact with the pieces on the background as I've planned and then tape the string to the back, bringing it up and over the painted dowel. Once I'm sure that I've positioned the metal parts where I want them to go, then I can add a drop of glue to the string where it crosses the dowel so it doesn't move side to side. Now, move the sculpture and listen to its unique voice. As an option, you can assemble the pieces together as a wind chime and not use a background. This piece is put together with galvanized steel wire so it can be placed outdoors. I encourage you to visit the website of the Museum Tongli and also dickblick.com where you can find the materials to make this project and a downloadable PDF that includes more teaching ideas and information.